Here I am once again on a beautiful day in Pickett, Arkansas. Okay, Google, what's the temperature in Pickett, Arkansas? Okay, it's not gonna, it's 74 degrees. 74 degrees. It's not telling me because I'm hooked through Bluetooth, so it's going through the speaker and it's not making any sound. I don't know why it does that, but trust me, 74 degrees. All right, now I'm going from Picker, Pick, well, Pigot to Rector, which is 13.3 miles where I'm going to. But the elevation of Pigot, let's find out. What's the elevation of Pigot, Arkansas? 302 feet. What's the elevation of Rector, Arkansas? 285 feet. So it's 75, I'm 17 feet downhill in 13 miles. That's gonna make, that makes a big difference in an electric vehicle. This is why on this 13 mile trip, I can normally get in the sevens even going at uh, highway speed, 55 miles an hour. But today I'm gonna once again, attempt 24 miles an hour and see if I can do it. If traffic isn't too bad and I don't get too frustrated going that slow, then we should and see what we get. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite a bit. But again, it's downhill. Uh, about 1.4 feet a mile, I think, something like that. 1.4 feet every mile, I'll be going downhill, which helps. And 24 miles an hour, which is the slowest speed you can go in the 2015 Spark EV with the cruise control on. Now, some people say cruise control is actually energy inefficient. That doesn't make, that doesn't make sense to me because you would think a good steady speed would be better than your foot, which naturally smashes down, up, down, up, speed, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> But what do I know? I'm not that smart. But anyway, I'm gonna have cruise on because I don't wanna drive 13 miles at that slow speed without cruise on. So 24 miles an hour it is, we'll see. By the way, my guessometer shows 43 miles right now. If I'm able to go 24 miles an hour most of the way, then I'll predict it'll have about 45 miles when I get there. <clears throat> I think I'll gain about two. Now, as I've said in my other two miles where I'm, my other two videos where I'm hyper -miling, I will not force somebody else to go 24 and 55. If anybody gets behind me. Turn left on South Thornton Avenue. If anybody gets behind me, I will speed up or safely pull over until they can, um, I'll pull, I'll speed up until I can safely pull over. You know, so that way I don't have to keep anybody else from going the speed limit. I've driven about uh, less than a quarter, I was maybe a quarter of a mile, half a mile, and I forgot to reset my trip odometer, which I just did that. That way I can keep track of my average miles per kilowatt hour on the trip. So right now, 0.1 and 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. That's going, that's going to go way up. It's already 4.8. somebody coming up behind me I can barely see I think I'm gonna have to speed up I see two cars back there at least if I can pull over right here let them go right now I'm doing 32 I've driven 1.3 miles and I've got 8.5 miles per kilowatt hour so far I'm burning two kilowatts. I'm 2.1 miles in, 17.6 miles per kilowatt hour. It instantly jumped to 16.8, 15.2, 13.9, 13.5. .9, That's because I'm speeding up because there's a couple cars coming up behind me. Already down to 11.5. Right now going 43. And I already see a place to pull over up here. Needing by. Whoops. 
I ran over something or something fell off the car. <laughs> okay. Back to 24. All right, I know this is strange, but I'm up to 22.3 miles per kilowatt hour now and I sped up. Maybe I was going downhill during that, during that time. I wasn't paying attention to my kilowatts. You know what the number was. I was too busy thinking about pulling over. I don't know. I know why I jumped so high. Probably regenerative braking when I let off the gas. We got pull over here at Greenway. Let this gentleman by. Hey, there's a payphone. Wow. Let me get a shot of this. Look at that. That right there, young folks, is what we call a payphone. They used to be all over the place. But I am driving in L mode, which is extra regenerative braking for the Spark EV. And I've got nine and a half miles to go. I've driven 3.6, and right now I've got 30.1 miles per kilowatt hour. 27.6, 27.1, it's going down now. 26.2. Anyway, back to 24. I was too dumb to write down the miles on the guessometer before I left. I've done forgot. I'd have to look at the previous video to see. But I'm going to post it here. But right now, the guessometer says 46 miles. I'm thinking it was at 41 or 42 when we left. I predicted it'd be at 45 when I got there if I could go 24 most of the way. Well, I just, drove, I just drove the five mile mark since resetting my trip odometer. 5.1 miles and we're getting 20.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Right now I'm burning two kilowatts. Car coming up behind me, so I gotta speed up. I'm going to try to go around 36 or 37. Maybe I can stay ahead of him a little bit longer until I can find a place to pull over. At 24, he would have caught up with me way too soon. I don't want to go any faster than I have to. Right here. Let's go see what these folks are up to today. Howdy folks, how y'all doing? After two miles, turn right on Main Street. I just passed the halfway mark. The guessometer says 47 miles to where we're sitting on the side of the road. Driven 6.7 miles and we're got 18.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Now last time I did this, the reason I'm doing this one more time is because last time the road was just too busy and I gave up about halfway through. Somewhere in here. I think at the 6.9 mile mark, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I had a little over 20. Right now I've got 17.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Last time I had the screen turned off. I've got it on now with the uh, Bluetooth on, you know, doing the GPS, just so I know how much farther I've got to go. And I'm not sure how much energy that's using both the uh, Bluetooth and the screen being on. I wouldn't think it'd be much. And like I said last time I did this, there's very few highways where this would even be remotely feasible. You know, but this road, and there's quite a bit of traffic coming from the opposite direction here all of a sudden. But in this seven miles, I've only had probably five cars come up behind me you know i pulled over and let them over i haven't pulled over five times sometimes two or three cars ago two cars went by me twice i think if i remember right anyway we've got uh, 5.7 miles to go i have done a hypermiling video on this highway three times now once at 33 miles an hour and two at 24 and all three times I've had to pull over right here in this on this very farm right here and let a car go by me. 
people here are probably wondering why does that electric car keep pulling in our place turning around and heading back the same way it was going in the first place is he drunk i was hoping i could cross across go across the rector city line at 24 miles an hour but a vehicle is coming up behind me so right now i'm doing 35. there's the sign welcome to rector population 1800 home of the labor day picnic you know rector 1800 people it is strange they have a labor day picnic and man i mean uh all kinds of politicians come to this little bitty town and give speeches i think even the governor shows up sometimes but it's kind of strange some of the politicians they attract this little bitty town on labor day picnic Let's see what we got here. I'm not quite to my destination, but 14.5 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm gonna pull in this bank's parking lot. Okay, 14.6 miles per kilowatt hour since I've reset it. Let's shut it off and see exactly what it is. And 45 miles on the guessometer, just like I predicted. But there on the end, I had to go about the last three quarters of a mile at 55 miles an hour. And I had this screen on. I wouldn't think it burned much energy, but I think it burned more than I thought it would have. 14.3, which I sat there at Sonic in Piggott for four or five minutes. Nothing was running except for the screen. But anyway, 14.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Super hyper miling, 24 miles an hour as much as I could at 13 miles. My guess is my average speed was probably 27, 28 because I got up to 55 for a short period of time, 45 a couple of times. Anyway, there you go. This will probably be the last time I do this. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Maybe you learned something, or maybe at least had a little bit of entertainment. Hope it didn't suck. But remember, chicks dig scars and electric cars. Thanks a lot and have a great day.